active and passive forearm pronation. So we'll have you flex your elbow to 90 degrees. You're gonna grab on to your distal humerus to help maintain vertical alignment of the humerus. Our zero or starting position is we have this imaginary line that we've created that's connecting the radial and ulnar styloid. That line or interstyloid line is gonna be parallel with the humerus or parallel with the gravitational line. We're gonna go into pronation. So you're gonna turn your palm down when we take our measurement, the reference arm is gonna be parallel with the humerus and our indicator, the edge of the goniometer is gonna be parallel with the interstyloid line. So this is an active measurement, just like supination. I'm not applying overpressure. I'm just palpating those two styloids to help me to better visualize the interstyloid line. We're back to the starting position, passively apply overpressure spring against the barrier. We can estimate that's probably 80 degrees or so. We're maintaining manual overpressure. We're maintaining the form in that end range position while we take our measurement. Again, this reference is gonna be parallel with the humerus and then our indicator or distal arm is gonna be parallel with the intrastyloid line.